This is logic to make chocolate in Java. We want to make a package of gold kilos of chocolate. We have small bars, 1 kilo each, and big bars, 5 kilos each. Return the number of small bars to use, assuming that we use that we always use big bars before small bars. Return negative 1 if it can't be done. So let's go over the sample cases first. So in the first case, we have 4 small bars, 1 big bar, and our goal is 9. If we use all of our big bars, so we have one big bar, um, each big bar has 5 kilos, so 1 times 5, um, sorry, 1 times 5 is 5, so we subtract 5 from here, um, minus 5, which equals 4. Um, sorry, I didn't explain that well enough. So we use all of our big bars, we have one big bar, um, so 1 times 5, is a um, number of kilos that we can use with all of our big bars. Um, that's five. Taking that away from our goal is four. Nine minus five is four. Each of our small bars is one kilo each. So we can just assume that each bar is one kilo, or we can just think about this as one kilos. Um, yeah. So if we subtract, if we use all of our small bars, um, then we should just subtract the number of small bars from four, and that's zero. Um, so yeah, we got our goal number of kilos, and the number of small bars we use is 4, which is why we return 4. Um, here in the next case, we have 4 small bars, 1 big bar, and our goal is 10. Um, so if we use all of our small bars and all of our big bars, so the number of small bars again is 4, 4 times 1 is 4, so that's 4. Um, if we use all of our big bars, it's 1 times 5, so that's 5. So the total number of um, kilos that we can make with all of our bars is 9. 9 is less than 10, which means that we can never reach our goal. Um, as a result, it can't be done, so we just return negative 1. Next, we have the case 4, 1, 7. Um, in this case, we have small big, sorry, small, 4 small bars, 1 big bar, and our goal is 7. If we use all of our big bars, because we have to use our big bars before small bars, then, um, yeah, so, sorry about this. Um, so if we use all of our big bars, so this should become zero, then we um, have five kilos, because one times five is five. So we subtract five from the goal, and we have two kilos left. We have four small bars, we only have two, bar, um, two kilos to make. So all we need to do is use two, from here, um, minus 2 equals 0. Um, so we made our goal, um, as you can see, because it's 5 plus 2 equals 7. And um, to do this, we use two small bars. Or rather, two small bars. Um, so there's two solutions of doing this. Um, I'll take you through both of them. Um, the first one is just using a while loop. The second, um, uses the mathematical floor function and the min function. Um, yeah, so let's just solve this with the easy while loop solution first. So the way we do that is just do exactly as the problem states. So while um, we have big bars left, so big is greater than zero, which means we still have big bars left, and our goal is greater than five, equal to five, which means we can take away five kilos from the goal, and we do big minus minus, and goal minus equal to 5. To reiterate, because it says we always use big bars or four small bars, these are the two cases that must be satisfied in order for us to be using big bars. If big is greater than 0, then we can use big bars because we have big bars left. If goal is greater than equal to 5, we can use big bars because we can take away 5. If we have, for example, 4 kilos in our goal, we can't use a big bar because 4 minus 5 is negative 1, and um, we have to use every kilo um, because we're trying to make the goal kilos. We're not trying to make over that. So this is the most. Um, this is after using as many big bars as we can make. After doing so, we can check if the number of bars we have left is less than equal to small. We return the goal. If the number of kilos we have left, sorry, the number of kilos of chocolate we need to make left. Um, are less than the number, of, less than or equal to the number of small bars we have left. 
we can make gold with our remaining small bars, so we can just return the gold, because we used gold and not a small bars. Else, um, in which case the gold is greater than small, we return negative 1, because we can't make up that difference with just our small bars. And as you can see, that works. Um, yeah, so if you guys are interested in a shorter way of doing this, here's an explanation. So those of you who are more experienced with math will notice that this um, can be expressed in one line. Um, and it can also be just done with basically three operations, two operations. Um, yeah, so just so you... This is the um, while loop that we're going to try to optimize into one line or do two operations, whereas this will take a lot more. Um, so what we're trying to do, what our purpose is to say, what is the, what is the um, number of big bars we use? We use. And because it says we use, always use big bars before small bars, this also equates to what is the most amount of big bars we can use? Um, yeah, and so you'll notice that um, this can be either two answers. Um, so either, um, so the first case is that we don't have enough big bars exactly. So for example, in this case, if we use all of our big bars, so it's 1 times 5 kilos, 9 minus 5 is 4. So we still have um, bars left even after we use all of our big bars. Um, so in that case, we can use all of our big bars. So it's either big or it's if we have too many. For example, if we have 10 big bars and our goal is something like 8, for example, if we use all 10 big bars, then we will have um, 50 kilos. And 50 kilos is obviously way over 8. So we have to use much less than 10, 10 bars. The exact quantity we have to use is 8 divided by 5 and then floored. Um, so the reason why is this. 8 divided by 5 returns the number of um, big bars we can use. Um, we, the most amount of big bars we can use um, without going over. Um, or rather, if we can split up the big bars, how many big bars do we need to make our goal? But then we can't split up the big bars. Um, so this, so for example, 8 divided by 5 would be um, 1.6. But we can't split up big bars. We can't make up this amount with a big bar. If we use 1, um, we're less than the limit, so we're fine. Um, because 1 times 5 is 5, and that's less than 8. But if we use 2 big bars, then that's 2 times 5, which is 10, which is greater than 8. In other words, because we can't use partials, we have to get rid of the partial, and this is the most amount of big bars we can make. So just to reiterate, um, in the other case, we have goal divided by 5, in the floor. And so this is a case when we have um, less big bars than big bars than needed, necessarily. Um, and this is a case when we have more big bars than needed. In the case of when we have more big bars than needed, um, than needed, this is the most amount of big bars we may use. So you can see that the relationship between these is that in all cases, um, the number of big bars we can use is the minimum of big and the, and then the, um, the goal divided by 5 floored. So um, the reason why is because in most cases we use all of these. Um, but in the case that the number of big bars we have is more than the number of big bars we can use, then we have to use the number of big bars that we can use. Um, I hope that makes sense for you. Um, in other words, use all of, this, all of the big bars when we can. Um, if the number of big bars surpasses the limit of big bars we may use, which is this, then we simply just have to use this, because that's the limit. Um, and because Java division, integer, integer division, is automatically forward, um, and you'll notice it's just because, like for example, if you do like 10 divided by 3, you'll always get 3. Um, you'll never get 3.33, but you'll just ignore these. Um, and that's what the floor function is. So, um, the number of big bars we can use is math, 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 
automatic part it has and go divided by five. Next we just take away that amount of kilos from gold. Um, five times x is the number of kilos from those big bars, so we just subtract that from gold. And the rest is the same. Sorry, that was two lines, but I think that was three operations still. Yes. So if we run this, it still gets all correct. 